Here we need a galvanometer to be used in the now method. But what is a now method? Now method basically means if you look at the galvanometer, there will be an arrow on it. And you are just looking whether there's deflection or not. If there's current flowing through the galvanometer, there's deflection. If not, there is no deflection. So that's what we mean by the now method. So you need to protect the galvanometer from damage due to excessive initial current. So too big of a current will cause the galvanometer to spoil. And you have two choices, resistance 0 0.5 and 1 kilo ohm. Now how shall you connect this thing up? Hmm. Now we want to maximize the protection. So let's check through each circuit and might as well draw it out. So let's look at A, 0 0.5 ohm in series with the galvanometer. So the galvanometer is 5 ohm, right? I draw a circle lah. So he has resistor and that. Okay, I mean, it looks okay. I mean, you will reduce the current flowing through the whole thing because of the resistance. But okay, maybe maybe A is correct. But let's go continue on first. Let's look at B. B, the 0 0.5 resistor in parallel with the galvanometer and placed in series with the 1 kilo ohm. Oh my. So if I draw that out, you will have a series 1 kilo ohm. And the 0 0.5 is going to be in parallel. Oh, so something like this. Uh, like that. And like that. Yeah, I think that looks like it. Wow, that is a lot of resistance. So 0 0.5 down there. 1 kilo ohm up there. Okay. Sure, that, that can work. We really don't care how much current is flowing through. As long as you can detect a current, then you will have deflection. So, I think seems okay. This one seems pretty solid too. Let's check C. Running out of space, so I'm going to draw it here. The 1 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the galvanometer. So 1 kilo ohm like this. Galvanometer 5 ohm down there. Hmm, this one is a bit sketchy. We have a problem with this setup. You know why? Because if you look at that over there, uh, when the current comes in, more current will flow through the path with lesser resistance. So if you compare... 1 kilo ohm is much, much more bigger than 5 ohm. So a lot, a very large current will flow through the galvanometer and that's not good. You might burn this galvanometer. So I, I don't like C. It's very sketchy. Having a 1 kilo ohm in parallel with the galvanometer will cause a large current to flow through galvanometer. So here, large current. We don't want that. So I don't like this one. It's not as good as A and B. Let's look at uh, D. Okay, let's look at D. 1 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the galvanometer. Okay, we have the same problem. And this combination in series with the 0 0.5 ohm resistor. So 0 0.5 now will be over here. Okay, well, you might think, like, hey, this looks very similar to B. What's the difference? You see, the difference is 0 0.5 ohm is a very small resistance here. And then you have a very much large resistance here and a small resistance here, you're going to have a weird thing. So a large current will flow through here. And remember, when in parallel, the effective resistance is very small. So even though you have things like this, you will still have a lot of current flowing through the bottom path, which is what we don't really want. We want to reduce the current going through the galvanometer as much as possible. So this not very good. I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, you still have a large current going through that. So actually, the one with the least current going through would be B actually. Because you see, in the first one, you have two in series. So the current flowing through the whole thing is the same. It's not going to help. So this one, you have a very large resistance here. That will reduce the main current a lot. And a lot of the current will mainly flow through the 0 0.5 ohm because it's a much smaller resistance. So actually, between all these, they kind of seem correct, except for C, but B is the best choice. Wow, this is a tricky question. And it's only what, question three. So this is how you can think of this galvanometer possible setups. Just remember, you want to protect the galvanometer, double protection if possible, okay? So first, first layer of protection is this one, a big resistor to slow down the overall current. And then a smaller resistance in parallel to distract the current so that the current kind of, a lot of it flows this way. I mean, there's still some current that goes down there, but the bulk will go up there. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next video.